So before we solve problems on the construction of influence lines for girders, so let's have first the discussion of what a girder is so that you will know or you will have an idea how to construct the influence lines for girders. <clears throat> so let's have this deck bridge here. <clears throat> So we have the deck bridge, so that, that's the flooring <coughs> made of usually <coughs> concrete slab. And this concrete slab is in turn supported by smaller beams parallel to the, to the bigger beams called the girders. And we call this the stringers. Then these stringers here, or smaller floor beams, are then framed into uh, bigger beams called these floor beams here. So this is the plan or the top view. And <clears throat> if we consider section BB, this is the result. So we have the end as girders and we have here the floor beams or these are the stringers actually then the stringers which supports the deck or the floor slab or the loads on the floor are then <coughs> framed into the girders so the girders which is the bigger beam is and supported at the what we call this may be piers or uh, <coughs> abutment or supports at the end then if we reveal section AA this is the view so this is the view where we analyze the girder and we construct elements of this girder such as their actions moment or shear in a panel by the way the spacing between these floor beams here is called a panel and these floor beams the these floor beams or this may be represented by points we call this panel points so this is the moving vehicle this is just an example so we represent it by a unit load and then we construct the the influence line for the different elements of the girder so this is the transmission of the loads from the moving live load which is supported by the deck or the floor system then the floor system is supported by the floor beams then the reactions at these floor beams here are then transmitted to the girder the bigger beam so <clears throat> one uh, idea or one idea is the deck is simply supported at the end at these panel points here or unless otherwise shown in the figure to be continuous so there is a small gap this is, that's the assumption between panel points or between these uh, floor beams or between panels so that's it <coughs> then <coughs> from the moving live load let's transmit it to the floor beams as reaction then reaction in the floor beams are then transmitted to the girder so that we can now analyze the girder in computing for it may be reaction at the support where the girder is bearing on or shear at a panel point or moment at a point in a girder so that's the idea